Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Gulati. I am currently working as a wealth manager at a leading wealth management firm. Along with that, I am pursuing a deep dive data science course from IB Professional School. So as a part of my Power BI project, I have chosen credit card customer analysis. So uh, let's begin. Let me show you the data set first. Data source. So I have chosen my data set from Kaggle website. So this is the data source and this is the data set. Let me show you the full data set in the uh, Power BI itself. So this is the data set. So this data set is of credit card customer uh, users. So the, this data set around 10,000 uh, 127 rows. So let me explain you each uh, column one by one. So first is the client number. So this is the client number for uh, it's unique for every client. Then is the attention flag. So it, it defines that the whether the uh, customer is existing or attracted customer. Next is the customer age. Then it's the gender. Then we have the education level. In education level, we have this uh, college, doctorate, graduate, high school, postgraduate, educated, and not disclosed or unknown. Then we have the marital status that is divorced, married, single, or unknown. Then we have the income category. In income category, as you can see, the classification depending on the uh, in which uh, the client falls, in which category the client falls. Then we have the uh, card category, the four type of card. That is blue, silver, gold, platinum. Blue being the normal one, platinum being the premium one. Then with the months on books, so basically the uh, how many months client has been uh, with the bank or the credit card company. Then we have the credit limit. Basically the amount given to that the customer is allowed to spend. Then there's the revolving balance. It's basically the balance that is carried uh, over month to month is called as a revolving balance so it's basically the amount that you owe to the banks uh, each month then uh, the average utilization ratio it's basically the ratio of the that the amount that you have spent divided by the uh, the amount that you are allowed to spend that is called the utilization ratio then you have the city as there are three cities new york Chicago and Los Angeles. So it's basically from these three cities the customer uh, of this credit card company belong to. So this was about the data set. So now let's move to the da dashboard. This is the credit card customers uh, dashboard. So uh, in gender we can see 47% uh, account uh, are male customers and female accounts for 53 percent then we have attracted versus existing customers attracted customers are 16 percent and uh, existing customers accounts for 84 percent then we have marital status 46 percent of the customers are married and then we have 39 percent of them are single and 7.5 percent haven't disclosed and then 7.4 percent of the, are, are the divorced customers then you have the card category uh, we have 93 percent in the blue uh, blue card category that is a very basic one and then we have 5.5 percent in the silver then we have the gold category that is 1.15 percent then we have the platinum category that accounts for 0.2 percent only that is the premium category then we have some cards here the first one is the average revolving card so average uh, average volume is basically the balance that is carried over month to month so this accounts for 1.16 thousand and then we have the average customer age so the average customer age of, of this data set is 46 46 years then your average credit card utilization which is 0.27 so it's basically the amount that the customer are spending divided by the amount they're allowed to spend then we have the average month month on book so it's basically around 36 so it means that the on an average the customer are there with this card company for approximately three years then you have the income category so we can select any income category and the dashboard will reflect the data accordingly then you have the education level so 
so these are the extension level let me select uh, for example I select the graduate one so the uh, the dashboard will show the data of the customers who are whose education level are graduate so this way we can uh, select any uh, any category which we want now we have this average revolving credit uh, based on existing versus attracted customers so we can see that the existing customers are having average revolving credit much more than the attracted customers and then we have this average credit card utilization so we can say that the again the existing customers are having are uh, utilizing the card much more than the attracted customers then you have the limit versus spending so it's basically the total limit that the bank has or credit card company has given to the customer versus the amount they are spending uh, then we have the count of clients based on the income category so we can see that the, in the least income category we have the highest number of clients and then in the most premium like the highest income group we have the least number of clients and then we have the uh, count of clients based on the education level so we can see that the highest clients we have in the graduate those who have the education level as graduate and then we have the least number of clients in the doctorate category so this was about the dashboard and we can do further analysis for example if i want to study more about the attitude customers i can select the dashboard reflect about the attitude customers only so in we can see here that the female customers account for 9.9 percent and male customer account for six point that is seven percent so in attitude customers female customer are more uh, compared to the male customers then we can see that the added customers are having a less credit card utilization compared to comparative to the uh, total for example existing customers existing customers have a average credit card utilization of 0.3 versus attitude customers have average credit card utilization of 0.16 so it means that they are not spending they are not using their card much attitude customers and similarly for revolving credit also uh, they don't have the month on month balance uh, that remaining so they're not using their cards much so like this way uh, we can do the analysis uh, of we can select anything uh, with for example we want about the blue card or we want the data about the married customers we can select and the dashboard reflect that only so this was about the dashboard so now now let's move to the next slide so as we can see that the clients uh, clients of this uh, credit card company belongs to these three cities that is chicago los angeles and new york and as we can see in the map also for example we can select a particular city also and we get the uh, data accordingly and similarly we can select the los angeles it will get and this way we can if uh, for whichever city we want the data uh, we can get in this map so next move uh, let's move to the next slide so this is the key influencers data so it will test, uh, tell us the likelihood of the customer being attracted or uh, or it, it will be with the company so i have selected here for the attracted customers so it will tell like it will tell among from the given parameters which parameter will account for the that the customer will leave the company or will won't be with the company anymore so as we can see that the customers having the credit card limit below 1900 or less are, are having the maximum likely to leave then we have the average credit card customer average revolving credit card credit uh, goes down uh, by goes down below 8813 then there are chances that the it will uh, the customer might leave the company and then we have the uh, customer is more than 39 and then you have the gender is female so these are the three four top parameters which accounts for that the customer will customer will might uh, leave the company or it won't be the uh, customer anymore then we can see that the what are the key influencers for the existing customer the cust the customer that will be that are there and will be there 
so uh, the first one is the average revolving credit goes up a eight eight hundred thirteen and then the chances are that the customer will be with the company and the second is average credit card utilization up by 0.28 and then there's the credit card limit so as we can see from uh, both the existing and iterated that the credit card utilization and uh, revolving credit are the two most important parameters that define that whether the customer will be with the company or won't and the same we have seen in the dashboard also that the existing customers accounts for the higher competitive competitively higher revolving and credit card utilization are both higher and uh, for the added customer it's uh, less comparatively and also one more thing is that the gender that female customers are more likely to iterate so this was about the key influencer now let's let's move to the next slide so this is the question and answer page so here we can type the question and we can directly get the answer without doing any code or so so for example we want the average customer age so we can get the answer directly so we can type the any question that is there and we can get the suggestions also so it's very useful so let's move to the next slide this is a decomposition tree so it's basically tell us that the which is the important factor so here what i have done is that for the attitude customers only i have selected some parameters that are gender income category marital status education level and customer age so based on these parameters the decomposition tell us that which is the important factor to consider so first one is the gender the first priority we can give to the gender then is the income category there's the marital status so this uh, the decomposition tree figures out by itself that which uh, parameter to give uh, the first weightage and then accordingly so we can see so these these things are very useful in decision making so uh, as we have gone through all the slides so let me summarize as we can see that the credit card utilization and high uh, credit card utilization and revolving credit are the two most important things that accounts for the, whether the customer will be exist or it can iterate so we have seen that the uh, the for uh, existing customer credit card utilization and revolving credits are high and uh, similarly for added customer it was very low comparatively so so we can uh, we can uh, uh, make sure that the the customers whose revolving and utilization are less to make uh, we have to make sure that they use the card much more by we can give them promotional offers and figure out other reasons also to make them use the card uh, more and one more thing is that the female customers account for more uh, attrition so we can run specific offers and uh, do the survey even with the female customers that uh, understand that why they are uh, why they are iterating more so in this way we can decrease the attrition of the uh, decrease the attrition of the clients and have more much more percentage of existing customers so and that's it and thank you